I don't think we would be to the place where we are today without that continual critical support that we had. I think we are um, doing better work than we've ever done before. With the Panasonic Foundation, the work is, is really sustained. It's over a long period of time, and it's work around the issues that we are experiencing in our district. I think it's one of the most valuable and critical things as a school district that we have done. It has made us reach for um, more attainable goals, but also reach beyond where we thought we could uh, even reach with our students. That would not have happened, and our board would not have evolved to the point where it is today if it were not for the work of the Panasonic Foundation. Uh, this has been an extraordinary partnership. Hello, I'm Linda Wertheimer, one of the voices of National Public Radio. And I'm Sophie Saw, Executive Director of the Panasonic Foundation. And we are delighted to be here today to talk to you about a very powerful idea. Over the years, ideas have shaped Panasonic into a company of innovation and inspiration, pragmatism and skill, a company of visionary ideas, ideas that go far beyond the ordinary. Yet, in keeping with the mission of Matsushita Electric Industrial Company founder, Konosuke Matsushita, provide practical, meaningful benefits for people everywhere. In 1984, under the leadership of MEI Chairman Masaharu Matsushita, Matsushita Electric Corporation of America created one of the most significant ideas to emerge from this great company. An idea that was to become a powerful force for the advancement of education in the United States, the Panasonic Foundation. The Panasonic Foundation is a logical extension of KM's belief that human beings are our most precious resource and of his philosophy that a corporation must give back to the society from which it has arisen and benefited so greatly. In a similar way, the Panasonic Foundation's work is guided by two underlying beliefs. First, that all children can learn, and second, that schools have a responsibility to educate all children well. With those beliefs in mind, the Panasonic Foundation made two key decisions, to work with whole school districts rather than school by school, and to work where there is the greatest need in districts that serve a high percentage of children in poverty. In pursuit of those objectives over the years, the Panasonic Foundation has worked with 25 school districts, three state departments of education, and a consortium of 25 rural districts in New Mexico. KM created a great company by developing the potential of people, establishing a vision, and getting others to believe in and work towards achieving that vision, developing an infrastructure of support, and fostering teamwork. In parallel, the Foundation's system-wide approach focused on these elements in its work with school systems. As Leslie Gratzer, former executive director of Bell South Foundation, says, as Panasonic Foundation went about its work, the remarkable thing, the really interesting thing, is that they ended up being a leader and a role model for the rest of us who were working in education philanthropy, and they influenced the kind of education reform work that was going on in school districts across the country. For instance, instead of making grants of dollars, as was the traditional approach, Panasonic chose instead to offer expertise through providing consultants to school districts. It's like the notion of if a man is hungry, instead of giving him a fish, you teach him how to fish for himself. The other thing that Panasonic did was that rather than focus their work on projects that are short term with an impact in the short run, Instead, they were looking for long-term change and system transformation through capacity building. And that had such a big impact on the way the rest of us thought about this work. We now hear from Robert A. Cronley, president of Cronley and Associates and a national expert on education philanthropy. The Panasonic Foundation's endowment is now $20 million. This is substantially less than those of other education funders and substantially less of the school districts with which the foundation partners. Yet, 
in the 20 years that it has operated, the $25 million that the foundation has spent has yielded results far out of proportion to its investment. School districts have designed new curricula, have developed new ways to train teachers, have realigned central offices, have developed better relationships with unions, and have changed some of the dysfunctional policies and practices that have often interfered with good teaching and learning. Partner districts, new and enhanced capacity, is resulting in better test scores for students. But statistics, as impressive as they are, are only part of the story. The Panasonic Foundation works with real people. Teachers and superintendents, union leaders, school boards and administrators. Let's hear what some of them have to say. The work that the Panasonic Foundation does with districts is important work. Um, it is quality work. I don't know of any other organization that provides this kind of support and assistance to districts that are really trying to make a difference um, in the lives of the children that they work with. I think they have made us think a little bit deeper about what we're doing, uh, look at how it, what we're doing impacts the entire system, how certainly it impacts instruction, and how we look at student outcomes differently. Panasonic has not pushed any specific reform uh, with us, but they have compelled us to think about how we are um, engaging our faculties and our communities, our teachers, our staffs, uh, everybody in this, uh, in this work around in increasing student academic achievement for all of our students, not just some of them, but for all of them. More than anything, this Panasonic uh, partnership has allowed us an opportunity over a three year period to take time to plan, strategically plan what we're doing, to assess what we're doing, reflect on that, and then to make changes so that we have forward movement in the district. It's meant a lot to the district in terms of student progress. I would like to compliment the Panasonic Foundation for their commitment to public education and their ability to stay with it and stay committed to it um, through a long-term process, not a quick fix. On this, its 20th anniversary, the Panasonic Foundation can look back on a long and proud history of achievement. The systemic transformation of school systems begun by the Foundation has taken on a seemingly unstoppable momentum of its own. The districts that the Panasonic Foundation has touched continue to flourish, with better educated students, more capable teachers, more responsive administrators, and more effective systems serving as a model for others. Since its inception, the Panasonic Foundation has had enormous impact on how school districts are doing their work, how foundations approach education philanthropy, and most importantly, on the lives of our children. Who knows what wonders will come from those students whose lives have been touched by the Panasonic Foundation. Their contributions will certainly embody the original ideals of Konosuke Matsushita and make the world a better place for everyone. With the creative power of ideas for education, ideas for people, and ideas for life.